Hello guys, welcome to Bike Geek. In today's video, we're going to show the process of installing Docker on Windows 11 computer. So, what is Docker? Docker is a powerful tool widely used by developers. It allows you to build, package, and run applications in isolated environments called containers, making development and deployment faster and more consistent. Now let's get started with the installation. The first step is to check if your system meets the requirements. Begin by verifying your Windows version and whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. To do this, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Then type Winver and press Enter. A window will appear showing your Windows version. In this example, my system is running Windows 11 version the 24H2 and is 64-bit. Next, you need to make sure that virtualization is enabled in your system's BIOS. Docker requires virtualization to be turned on. To check this, right-click on your taskbar and select Task Manager. Once Task Manager opens, go to the Performance tab. On the right-hand side, you will see various details like base speed, number of calls, and logical processors. Just below that, there will be a virtualization field. If it says Enabled, you're good to go. If it says disabled, you'll need to reboot your system and enable virtualization from your BIOS settings. The third requirement is to ensure that WSL Windows Subsystem for Linux is installed on your system. To check this, open command prompt. Go to Windows Search, type CMD and open command line. In the command prompt, type WSL, then press enter. If WSL is not installed, you'll see a message saying that Windows Subsystem for Linux is not currently installed, along with a prompt that says, press any key to install WSL. Go ahead and press any key to begin the installation. It may ask for administrator permission, just click yes to continue. The installation will take a few minutes, so be patient and wait for it to complete. WSL has been successfully installed. We've also confirmed the system version and verified that virtualization is enabled. Now that all requirements are met, we can proceed to download and install Docker. Open your web browser. I'll be using Google Chrome. In the search bar, type Docker and press enter. From the search results, click on the official Docker website, which is docker.com. Once the website loads, move your mouse over the Download Docker Desktop button. You'll notice several options appear based on your system type. Since I'm using a 64-bit version of Windows 11, I'll select the Download for Windows AMD 64 option. Click on it and the download will begin automatically. Just wait for the download to complete before proceeding with the installation. Once the download is complete, open your downloads folder and double click the installer file to begin the installation. If a permission prompt appears, simply click yes to continue. Check both options. Use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V and add shortcut to desktop. Once both are selected, click OK to begin the installation process. It may take a few minutes to complete. After the installation is successful, you'll be prompted to restart your system. Click Close and Restart button so it can restart the system. Once your system restarts, you should see a Docker shortcut on your desktop. Double click the icon to launch Docker. Accept the service agreement when prompted. You may be asked to sign in or create a Docker account, but you can skip this step for now. You can also skip the welcome survey. Once that's done, Docker will begin initializing. At this stage, the Docker engine is starting up in the background, preparing the environment so you can begin creating and managing containers. This process may take a moment, so just give it a little time to complete. All right, everything seems to be running smoothly. To verify that Docker has been installed and is functioning correctly, open the command prompt. Simply go to the Windows search bar, type CMD, and open the command prompt from the results. Once it's open, type docker, space, double dash, version, and press enter. If it shows the docker version number, 
That means Docker has been installed successfully and is working correctly. That's it for installing Docker on Windows 11. You're now all set to start building, running, and managing your applications using containers. Docker opens up a whole new world of flexibility and efficiency for developers, and getting it up and running is the first step in unlocking its full potential. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might find it useful, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more step-by-step -step tech tutorials. Your support helped me create more helpful content just like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.